Notice how the grammatical mode in the speech of Allah changes from the third person to the first. Throughout the promises, Allah says that Allah has promised and that He will grant them rulership. And, that, and throughout the promise, it is He will and He will. But coming to the condition, Allah changes His address to the first person. That they worship me alone and don't associate anything with me. In Arabic, in Balagha, this is a rhetorical device called al-iltifat. It is when the expected syntactic construction of speech is absent. And this is employed to draw your attention and bring you to heed the matter at hand. As al-Shaykh ibn al-Uthaymeen rahimahullah mentions, the various instances Allah uses this manner of speech in the Qur'an, going from the absent form, al ghayba to the present form, al hudur Al-Iltifat has many purposes, and one such purpose is Al-Ihtimam, Allah bringing your attention to a matter most grand and grave by speaking of it in the first person himself, so that you understand that rulership and power and safety hinges on this condition. So understand the importance of Tawheed. Another purpose is Adalalatu al Al-Ikhtisas, exclusivity. Transitioning from the third person narrative to the first to convey the meaning that divine and absolute power over the matter in question is His authority alone. So if our Tawheed is not correct, then work your way backwards through the ayah. We will not have safety and security, but we will linger in perpetual fear and instability. We will not have our deen established and powerful. And we will not be rulers, but we will be subjects tossed here and about. So if anyone at any time who doesn't grant importance to aqidah comes and tells you that there's some other solution to the ummah, that they've suddenly found. Keep this ayah before your eyes and remember always how Allah changes the very modality of His speech to make you aware of how grave and how true is His promise and His condition and what it means to us. The condition of this great momentous promise is that we worship Allah alone 